Hey babies, thanks for tuning into my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back to another sit down video. And I'm so excited for this one. So I wanna thank you guys so much for all the love that I've been getting on my channel lately. I did put a poll up on Instagram to see which video you guys wanted me to film next. And as you can tell by the title, we're doing how to glow up, healthy girl habits, okay? Cause I want all of my ladies to be healthy, glowing up, that girl, all of that good stuff. So let's get right into it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, let me know what video you guys want to see next and yeah, let's get right into it All right, so I already know usually I have my notepad But today um, I put everything in my notes on my phone So I'm gonna be looking at my phone and it's giving pink I don't know if y'all can tell but I've been like doing a rebrand lately wearing like hella like bright colors and pink a shout out to my friend She inspired me. She like loves pink, but I've been really liking like the bright colors on my skin lately. So Everything has just happened to be pink okay so it's gonna go right into the healthy girl habits and just loving yourself the first habit i would say that would make you like a healthy girl that girl is to make a dinner more often like i started cooking recently like within the past few years um well it's been like three or four years now but i used to like be so against making food and making dinner like i was like a eat, a eat out type of girl and i feel like just making dinner just feels so like feminine like it's good it tastes better and then once you start eating inside and making your own dinner it just like you're gonna not want to eat out as much so you just want to get groceries more and now everything is so expensive like I literally went to Wendy's earlier. I got two burgers and a 10 piece nugget. That shit was $17. That's too much. But yeah, so make dinner more often, get you some groceries and stop eating fast food and eating out so much. I still love a good dinner, a good drink, happy hour with my girls, but it needs to be a balance and you just need shit eat inside more. Okay, so that goes right into the next habit, which is eating healthier. I feel like if you're making dinner, it's automatically you know healthier than eating out all the time but when you're getting groceries and stuff like that you want to make sure you're getting healthy things like fruits vegetables like don't just be making big potatoes and not having your broccoli on the side type of thing so make sure when you're getting groceries that you're getting the right type of groceries and just eating healthier like get things to make a smoothie don't get chips and all that stuff or if you are make it a balance get those is healthy snacks i don't really eat snacks like that so you know like i really only eat like popcorn and literally like chips and dip sometimes but overall i really don't snack like that so just don't eat a lot don't get a lot of candy and that kind of stuff when you're going to the grocery store get things that are a little bit more healthy like get something to make like a lettuce wrap or something when you want a snack and you're hungry in between meals the next tip that I would say is a healthy girl habit or to make you feel more healthier as being that girl is to get in the gym, okay? Get in the gym, I would say three plus times a week. Anything less than that is kind of like, eh. But you gotta do what you gotta do to get started. So if you wanna start out with going like one or two times a week, then that's fine but i would just suggest like trying to go three times a week and maybe doing a like the minimum so go three times a week but maybe you only walk on the treadmill like or maybe you walk around your apartment or your home whatever like outside like just get some sun touch grass like you need to move your body so whatever that means to you i personally just like going to the gym so i definitely think going to the gym you, you can't say healthy girl habits without including the gym okay i like pilates as well i haven't been able to go since i've been here in atlanta but i do plan to find a studio and to go soon i'm going right into the next one yoga i separated gym and yoga because i don't think that you should only be doing yoga i think that if you're going to do it you should be doing both again i haven't been able to go since i've been here in atlanta but i started loving yoga when i was at home in virginia and i really do miss it so i have to find a new yoga instructor um if you guys know any good ones um make sure you leave me a comment down below but i do like yoga stretching like honestly that really does take a toll or it really does improve like your mental health overall and just like your body like getting stretched and move and doing all that good stuff and it's separate from the gym like it's, it's a totally different vibe so i definitely recommend going to yoga the next one is one of my favorites um i recommend that you guys have a strong morning and night routine and stick to that a routine is so important especially like with my personality type like if i don't have a routine and i just wake up and just do whatever it's not gonna work for me like it's not going to be healthy so um, in the morning like whether you like wake up get your tea drink your l-glutamine and your pre-workout cocktail whatever wash your face brush your teeth go to the gym come home shower and then you can start like 
you know building a routine like a whole routine but just that morning piece alone is gonna set the tone for the day even if like you're depressed or you're not feeling good or you're getting started at least have a solid morning and night routine you can figure out the middle later like you're automatically gonna want to be more productive when you start doing that um night routine make sure you have a good skincare routine cleanser moisturizer it doesn't have to be like all these products but just like a routine make sure you wash the day off your face and your body exfoliate in the shower read your book before you go to sleep like while you're in the bed even if it's like you have to like scroll on social media or pinterest or whatever like that could be a part of your routine but just make sure like it's it's a healthy amount not just getting in the bed at six and then scrolling until 12 a.m you know what i'm saying so yeah also when it comes to that uh, another habit would be to wake up earlier go to bed earlier as well um i'm still working on the earlier as far as waking up i can be in the bed at nine okay that's no problem but as far as waking up early like i wake up a kind of i wake up at a good time like i'm usually my eyes are usually open by nine sometimes earlier than that because i'd be in the bed so early usually but i do want to start getting the habit of waking up even earlier than that like eventually like a 5 30 a.m girly but right now she's a 9 a.m girly which is fine because i still do what i need to get done but yeah so actually starting tomorrow i'm starting a new routine i'm tweaking my morning routine so also keep that in mind like you can always Always tweak it change it whatever like figure out what works for you what's working for me or the next girl may not work for you and that's totally okay like we're all different people just make sure you have something but starting tomorrow I'm gonna start waking up at 7 a.m. every day at least every weekday and I'm gonna go to the gym in the morning um, which I use I am doing right now um, but kind of I've been back and forth like going at night which is fine I like going at night sometimes but for routine purposes um, my plan is to wake up at 7 be in the gym by 7 30 we'll see how that goes okay i'm gonna keep y'all updated okay but yeah so going to bed earlier and going to or waking up earlier and going to bed earlier definitely a healthy girl habit so this is a big one also for me is to get ready every day and what i mean by that is don't walk around in your bonnet don't not brush your teeth all day till 6 p.m or something like that and that's no shade but i'm just saying like it healthy girl habits like you need to get yourself ready for the day even if you're not doing anything get yourself ready like you might get yourself ready like you might have to step out and you know you might bump into fucking little baby at cvs or something i don't know you know what i mean so what i mean by that to go into a little bit more depth is to wake up do your morning routine every single day whether you have plans for the rest of the day or not brush your teeth do your skincare routine brush your hair down and put on a little loungewear outfit. I have plenty of them. Private goods. Shop private goods on Instagram. <laughs> no, it's private goods to underscore on Instagram. Um, Myprivategoods.com. But yeah, I have a loungewear brand. So most of the time, nine times out of ten, you guys are going to see me in my loungewear. Like my vlogs and stuff, my everyday. Because I live in loungewear. Like you don't have to get up and put on a fancy ass dress but you do need to get on get up and put on something like do your hair a little bit you don't gotta do go out and do it but you could do your edges you can swoop your edges you can put on a little scarf like this and a loungewear set no makeup you can put on a little mascara you know what i'm saying like just get yourself ready for the day so another tip i would say is limit your social media time limit your screen time um, i actually started a new thing back in december i want to say so like december i did a two month cleanse and maybe i'll do it again or make a video a separate video about that but basically i just set my own parameters on it like no clubbing no drinking no hookah y'all know i love me some hookah hookah mommy and i was just working towards my goals every day and I actually started this thing where I set downtime on my phone. So it's like, it's kind of like do not disturb for a certain app. So I put like Instagram, TikTok, um, Facebook, all that good stuff. And it literally like locks it from my, you could say your own time frames or whatever. So mine is like from 10 a.m. I cannot get on social media before 10 a.m. And then it stops at 10 p.m. on the weekday. And I think I put it to like 12 a.m. on the weekends because you know, you'd be out more, whatever. And it's not locked to where like you can't get into it, but it literally is like grayed out. And then if you click onto it, it will say like, do you want to snooze it for 15 minutes or do you want to turn it off for the rest of your time frame that you have set? Um, so that has really been helpful with my overall screen time. I feel healthier. I feel better mentally when I do that because it's so easy to get stuck scrolling. And even now, I, it's still like 
have trouble with like once you're on there you're kind of on there but it's so much better so like it's easier for me to put my phone down after I've been looking at a few things or I just be like I don't even like you don't even have the same urge that you did before so that is really helpful I think everyone should have some sort of like downtime on their phone and sometimes you got to force yourself to do it so shout out to iPhones <laughs> Another healthy girl habit would be to drink a lot of water. Are you really a healthy it girl, that girl, if you're not drinking water? I didn't think so. So drink a lot of water. I have been like that for a long time, like since high school, middle school, I think. Um, and I remember literally, I used to drink a lot of juice, a lot of soda, as kids do. Like, that's normal. Um, and then my face started breaking out. And my mom was like, you need to drink some water. <laughs> like, And ever since then, I swear I have been a water girl. So... Drink hella, 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 hella water throughout the day. Get your water bottle. Once you start doing it, I promise you, like, I feel yucky if I drink too much juice or I don't even drink soda um, anymore except for ginger ale because, you know, black people love ginger ale. But, yeah, and that's only, like, occasionally. Like, I don't buy soda. I drink ginger ale, like, if I'm sick or if I really need, like, you know, sometimes you just get that, that itch in your throat or it's just, like, you need something, like, carbonated, like, mmm. And ginger ale be too strong for me. Like, it's so strong to me. But yeah, so just drink a lot of water throughout your day. Drink a lot of water throughout your day. It's very, very important to be a healthy girl. And don't drink that nasty water, dirty water. Don't drink Dasani now or Aquafina. You need to get some Essentia, some Deer Park, some, uh, I don't know, Core. I don't know if it's Core good. I don't really drink Core. But yeah, just, you know what I'm saying, do your research, drink some spring water. The next healthy girl habit, girls, would be to write out your goals, write out your dreams. Like, I have thousands of notebooks probably. Like, I have thousands of notebooks probably. Like, probably like hundreds. But I do have a lot of notebooks. Um, I have a lot of notes in my phone. However you gotta write it or type it, do that. Um, I think it's good to have both, but definitely make sure that you're physically writing stuff down as well. Like, don't keep everything in your phone. But, yeah, I will, like, like the other day as a part of my morning routine, or not even my morning routine, as a part of, like, my day when I went to the pool and I was just, like, working, editing, I took the first, like, 10 minutes to just write out 10 things I was grateful for, like, at that moment. Like, literally. So... I recommend writing out your goals, long term, short term, write out what you're grateful for, write out your biggest, most wildest dreams, like I want a Jeep, I want a G-Wagon, I want a mansion, I want a husband, I want a man, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a sister, cousin, whatever, like literally whatever you can think of, whatever you're feeling, like just write it out. Um, I used to journal, I still have a journal, but I haven't journaled in a long time, like I need to update my journal. But I don't know journaling just gets really emotional and like weird for me and I may need to do some research on what that means but yeah I can't journal that much because it just feels it makes me feel really weird it's like I don't even I haven't gone back and read anything but you know how you can like see the last entry like you're gonna happen to glance over and kind of read it it just makes me feel so weird so I don't journal like that but whatever floats your boat that's what you need to do and I think it's just good to like be able to like go back and look at your goals and dreams and like see what you've accomplished. Check off the things that you've done. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's really healthy. The next thing that you could do to make sure you're being healthy and another healthy girl habit is to clean your space. Like make sure you have a clean, organized space around you. Whether that means your living room is a little junky, your room needs some working or remodeling. Like move your furniture around, you know? Like make sure that you're comfortable in the space that you're living in because that's the most important. Even if you're living with someone or you're still living with your parents, keep your room tidy, keep your room clean, keep it aesthetically pleasing to you. And that doesn't mean you have to go out and buy all this stuff, but just maybe order something off Amazon that's like $10, that's like a, a painting or a picture that you want that'll make your space, like a quote or LED sign, uh, LED sign, something like that, you know? Whatever you have to do to make yourself feel most comfortable in your space, and I think that that's what you need to do. But having a clean, organized, and like, just aesthetically pleasing place to you is very very important and very healthy all right so we only have a few more um this is, could have been like a two hour video but i might do like a, a second part um because there's just so many like healthy girl habits that i think are essential to just being a, a great girl being that girl the it girl uh, the next thing that you guys want to make sure that you're doing is to make time for your dreams and your goals so earlier we talked about writing out your goals you need to make sure you have time to work towards that otherwise what are they like they're not gonna happen if you're just sitting there not doing anything um i know like people have jobs people have kids people have families whatever but you always want to make sure that you're setting time 
out to do what you want to do, whatever makes you happy. And whether that's 30 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, you can make it a part of your morning routine or your night routine, you know, um, or squeeze it in at lunch. However you want to do it, and each day can look a little bit different as far as that, but just make sure that you're setting out some sort of time for yourself and some sort of time for you to work towards your goals so that your goals and your dreams can start coming true as well. All right, and lastly, but certainly not least, um, we have make time for your mental health. Like, I'm so big on mental health, y'all. It's crazy. I'm gonna make a separate video about that. Your mental health is number one. I made it last, but it's actually number one. As far as everything that we talked about, you wanna make sure that you are prioritizing your mental health, you're checking in with yourself, you're doing whatever you need to do to make sure that you are okay and that you are healthy. <laughs> I feel like all the healthy habits that we talked about today goes towards making sure that you're healthy mentally as well. So see a therapist, I wanna start going to therapy. Like, I want to eventually. You need to have, if you don't have a good support system, find that person that you could talk to or talk to God, vent to God, write out your issues and like read it to God, you know, or whoever you believe in, higher power energy. But I believe in God, so that's what I'm saying. But yeah, so like you need to make sure that you are able to vent properly. Um, just make sure that you're checking in with yourself. Do whatever that you need to do to keep yourself sane. And if you don't feel sane or you feel like you need help, reach out to someone, call suicide hotline, anything. I know it's kind of getting a little deep, but you know, like people are really going through things and I just think it's really important. So make sure that you check in with yourself and that you are your first priority at the end of the day, okay? So yeah, that's all the healthy girl habits and tips that I have today for you guys. If you made it this far, which I know you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I love you, my babies. And let me know what you wanna see next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys for my next one. Bye.